What's up guys, welcome back to another video and it's been a long time since I actually made a video like this. Uh, anyway, let's get to the point. It's really hot here in India guys. Uh, I'm really sweating a lot. Anyway, uh, as this video title says, I have already made, if you remember, I have already made a video on uh, Ionic 3 and uh, leaflet maps, right? So uh, after that, a lot of people were asking me to make another one on uh, uh, how to add multiple markers, like add markers on a map. Uh, and also they were asking me how to store all these markers on Firebase and then uh, on Firestore and then retrieve them, uh, pull them, uh, pull the data and uh, display them as markers whenever the map loads. Okay. So I decided to do that. It's pretty much like simple if you understand how to do it. So I decided to do that and uh, this is like a two part series. The first part will be on how to add multiple markers on a map. The second part would be uh, how to store those values on Firestore and retrieve them and show them, display them on a map whenever uh, the map gets loaded or refreshed or whenever you try add a new marker and then you try to refresh the map. Okay, so this is part one. Uh, I'll obviously be showing you how to add markers on different cities on a map. Okay, or different locations on a map. That's what I'm trying to say here. Uh, let's get started. I have scaffolded out an Ionic application. Uh, it's just a blank application, okay? Uh, and we'll follow the exact same steps that we followed here in this post. This is my original post on the uh, topic, guys. Actually, it didn't get loaded properly due to my poor internet connection. Uh, I'll copy this. Okay, it got installed as you can see here. Now we'll copy this. And then paste it over here in index.html. Uh, below this CSS file, we'll add this. Okay. Uh, and the next thing we'll do is we'll simply copy this. Oh, no, this alone is needed in Ion content. And uh, paste it in home.html. These are all steps that I already explained pretty much uh, in a detailed way in my previous video, guys. Kindly refer to that once. Okay, oh, these are not needed. Cool, right? Uh, now get into. Okay, I have copied and pasted a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's run this now and see if we get a screen with a simple world map. Okay, so I'll go here and then simply type Ionix hyphen here. Wow, okay, so uh, we get a simple world map displayed here. And obviously uh, it's a little bit zoomed out since we gave like that in the code here. It's 18, right? If you reduce it to 14, Obviously, it will be more like zoomed in. Anyway, uh, you are getting a map, right? We are getting a map displayed here. And now our point is to add multiple markers on this map. Okay. So what, how are we going to achieve that? We'll have a small button here. Okay. We'll have a small button here. And that button will, uh, upon clicking that button, a prompt will open up. Inside the prompt, if you enter the city, uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that first and then I'll start talking about that. So to add the button, get into home.html and uh, below on title, simply add. Uh, I had some code here. Wait, let me get that. Cool, right? So uh, this will add a marker to our, uh, what was that? A navigation bar. Uh, sorry, see, it added a button. Sorry, it added a button to our navigation bar. A navigation bar kind of looks dumb at this point. Wait, I'll just change the color. What's happening? Yeah. Okay, uh, now get into home.ts and uh, add marker. Okay, this will show up a uh, alert controller. So we'll just uh, import that as well. Alert controller. And here I'll add that as well. Private alert controller. Cool, right? Now inside this, I'll, so I'm simply creating a 
prompt uh, with a title called add marker and I am simply prompting for a location. Once the user enters the location, I am simply passing on the city name to a property called geocode and add. Okay, now I don't have that property, so I'll just do geo uh, code and add. I'll get the city here, and uh, I have to do some basic uh, geo coding, right? So to do that, I'll make use of this native geo coder, Ionic native geo coder plugin. Okay, uh, I'll copy this. Paste it here. Okay, this is done as well. Now all we need to do is simply copy code from here. I am doing a lot of copying rather than typing like I usually do. Paste it here. This reverse result we won't be needing. So I'll remove that import and then I'll add another import. And then inside this uh, geocode and add city. Now that I have city, I'll simply go ahead and paste this. Now I'm I have done some forward geocoding, right? Instead of Berlin, I'll simply add city. Okay. Uh, then coordinates. This will return an array, and the wait. Inside this function, what we'll do is uh, this will be coordinate. We'll remove this line first of all, and then we'll use this coordinates to create a marker. Okay, we already had some uh, code that we were doing to create markers, right? The screen we got just now. This is a geolocation screen. This is the marker screen. So uh, where is this code for creating the markers? This is geolocation. This is markers, right? Here it's there. Uh, so I'll take this let marker group and all this thing. Paste it here. And uh, what else is E? Cool, right? Now what we have done is we have simply performed the forward geocoding on this and then uh, we have got the latitude and longitude coordinates and uh, we are simply creating a marker and adding that marker to this particular map, this dot map dot add layer. We are adding it as a feature layer. Kindly uh, watch my previous video on this same topic to know what's a feature layer and all that. Okay. Uh, it's simply like adding a layer uh, for the markers above the map guys so that uh, when both these layers are uh, imposed on top of one another when you look at it you will see that the markers are being placed on the map right uh, you will see that in a minute now just wait and uh, yeah uh, that's about it guys the one thing we need to do now is uh, we need to go add marker I have a function here right yeah, that will get fixed automatically. You need to get into app.module.ts and uh, uh, copy this native geocoder we need it. And here what you'll do is get in here native geocoder. Okay, cool, right? Now uh, go here and then uh, wait. Uh, give me a minute, guys. I'll connect my mobile phone. Cool. Our app loader up fine, guys. Now let's try adding a marker. Okay, so I'll just and a prompt dialog appears. I'll simply type uh, Berlin and I'll just type uh, tap on save. Let's see what happens. See, you can see a, a marker on Berlin, right? Wait, let me just zoom in. You can see this, right? Uh, we get a nice marker being shown on uh, Berlin, right? Let's try another city. Let's try uh, Frankfurt. Okay. Frankfurt is too long to type. Let me try Munich. Munich. Okay. See, you can see another marker getting added on. 
Munich as well, right? Uh, mm, we'll try just one more. Paris, maybe. Cool. Now we have three markers added, added on our map, right? Now we can, obviously you can type any location in that uh, thing and it will automatically forward geocode that. Take the latitude and longitude. What's happening? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, take the latitude and longitude and uh, it will automatically create a marker on that particular location, guys. Now, uh, what, what we need to do next is we'll see how to do two things. One is uh, how to store all these markers in our Firestore. The second thing is whenever the map loads or you'll have a refresh button and whenever you click on the refresh button, it should automatically pull all the marker data from Firestore and automatically populate uh, the markers on, sorry, it, it should automatically populate the markers on our map, leaflet map. We'll see how to do both of these and pause. if time permits, we'll also see how to uh, create different colored markers. Now we just have this blue color, right? And whenever we tap on it, we get an alert saying marker clicked. Uh, instead of this, we'll see how to get different colored markers. Sometimes you might have like, uh, if something is happening in the past, you will you can have a red marker. If something is going to happen in the future, you can have a green marker, some stuff like that. So we'll also see how to do that if time permits. Uh, but in our next video, we'll see how to store these markers in Firestore, how to retrieve and populate these markers on our map. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see part two or if you like what I'm doing on this channel, subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this, especially part two of this. And uh, uh, the desktop course link is now in the description below. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.